All right, guys, and we're back with Aqua Speed 2024 for the runners by the runners. We are here with myself, Space Bar, and I'm going to be running for you guys Knuckles' story in Sonic Adventure DX. Some of you guys might know this, some of you guys might not. This is a treasure hunting category where we'll be searching for the pieces of the Master Emerald in a hot or cold sort of fashion. Um... The pieces will be lighting up blue, then yellow, then red as we get closer and closer to them. And yeah, we're just uh, we're here to find the pieces of the Master Emerald, no matter what it takes. So we'll start down the countdown in three, two, one, go. All right, so here we are loading into Knuckles, everybody's favorite red echidna in the Sonic Adventure universe. Um, loading in, we see as far back as I can remember, I've been living. A lot of cutscenes skipping, a lot of lore in this story that we will be skipping all of. And we're going to start off right here by running down the road, skipping the lady, and heading off to Speed Highway, our very first stage, which contains three pieces of the Master Emerald, which we're going to be hunting for. So let's load in and let's see if we can find the pieces. Coming in here to the left, we've got a ping there. That means one piece. So I'm going to do a reset for a quicker start into the second section here as we do get a piece three ping. Grab that. Another reset here is going to help us get back to the middle section. And now we're just looking for a piece two, which is going to be right there in that enemy. So the pieces have set locations where they can be. It's a random chance. Um, the piece two can be in 12 different locations, for example. So um, just being well versed with the game, I know through a process of elimination that it must have been that enemy there. So we're going to come up and show you guys a really cool clip called the awning clip here. This saves some time in entering casino. Or I should say the train station, because then we do another clip here in the train station in order to get into the casino early, which is the second stage we'll be doing. And don't blink, because this one can fly by pretty quick as we come into the casino, get the piece two right away, come into the gear room and get the piece three right away, and do one more clip, which I like to call vault to shower, as we get all the way to the shower room and get the final piece in the showers there. Two stages done already out of the five. We are really flying by. Knuckles has already gotten six pieces of the Master Emerald. We're going to come into the past here to get some very important lore, which of course we're not going to watch any of. And um, just run through this old temple in the past. This is the Lost World Temple. And now another cool skip coming up called Cream Skip, which involves punching during that cutscene, which we successfully did. Making sure we pick up a ring on the way in here, because we're about to fight Chaos too. So Chaos, the main protagonist, along with Eggman in this story, and Chaos absorbs Chaos Emeralds, and he's got two of them, so he's looking pretty beefy, like he might beat us up in the alley behind the parking lot. We're just gonna come in here and show him that we don't mess around. We are Knuckles, we don't chuckle. And there it is, a 10.45 second fight. Taking down Chaos 2 like he's nothing, and getting that ring for safety, by the way. That's why we got that ring earlier. Make sure we do not run into a death. As Knuckles contemplates the Master Emerald, curious on where to go next, we are going to run and get trapped, actually, in this little gate. It closes behind us and locks us in here, getting the Shovel Claws. And so after we get the Shovel Claws, we're going to come and dig right away, who would have guessed, and we're going to grab this Monkey Destruction Switch. This is the part of the game where everybody as a kid got stuck on. It's like, where where do you go? What are you supposed to do? They don't tell you that you're supposed to take the Monkey Destruction Switch with you and go all the way over to uh, Red Mountain, where we're supposed to um, use the Switch for a second time. Yeah, um... That was never in the manual, the guide manual. But yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, just to run, throw the switch, kill the monkey, and on the red mountain we go. We get three more pieces of the Master Emerald. We're going to do some scouting strats here, which revealed no pings, which is some information. And we're going to go up, get this piece one, climb up the rocket to the volcano, get the piece three. Turn back around as we did see a piece two ping on our way down. And we're going to get it just like that. 15 seconds, out of Red Mountain, three stages down, two left to go. With four minutes on the clock, doing pretty good. So we'll do something called Fishing for Speed Shoes, which we did not get there. There is like a 2% chance, maybe a 1% chance you can get a capsule containing a Speed Shoes right there, which does increase knuckle speed by quite a lot, so you can save like five seconds running back up through this tunnel. Just 
really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, didn't get the speed shoes though. And here we do a little clip out in order to hit the cutscene trigger early. Get to the Sonic fight because, of course, Sonic and Knuckles have to fight each other, or else it would be a Sonic game. And uh, they would proceed right there to drop all of the emeralds they've obtained so far and give them a tag, man. But here we go on to everybody's favorite auto scroller fight where we're just going to fight Chaos 2. It's a counting simulator where we count the amount of swims he does and then wait until he's vulnerable to deal some damage. So he's going to do three swims and attack, and then three swims and be vulnerable. Two. Three, there's the attack, and then one, two, three, and here comes the surface. And we're just going to do that three more times, uh, and it's a good time to throw it to donations um, while we finish out this fight, so throw it to donations. Alright guys, we are here with some donations. We've got $5 from Nimblet saying, hey guys, I really, really love Knuckles' story. It's my favorite character in all the Sonic games. I, I love this category. I'll probably never stop playing it. Yo, shout out to Nimputs. Uh, Nimputs, a very well known speedrunner in the cat in, in this game. Uh, well known for his Knuckles gameplay. He's made some absolute milestones in this category for the community. Shout out to him. Uh, another donation out there from Hibnotter. Hibnotter says, hey, what's up? Finally seeing some more Knuckles at GDQ. Can never get enough. Um, thanks, Hibnotics. Hibnot Everybody knows Hibnotics. Uh, definitely has run some Knuckles on GDQ before of his own. We are we have our own little uh, Knuckles community within the within the Sonicverse here, so always fun to see uh, some of our friendly Knuckles runners tuning in to show some support and love for the Red Echidna, who has gone through just so much. He's, he's really been through a lot in his life. But anyway, just like that, we're out of the auto scroller, only losing some amount of time. And um, we're going to make our way to the jungle here, where we are going into one of the hardest sections, which is the uh, Lost World jungle section. So this involves grabbing some keys, starting with this one, the gold key, and running our way through the jungle in order to place it down in the stone statues outside of Lost World. One of two keys that we will need. You need to make sure you stay within the area as to not despawn the key, but as you heard, you heard it lock in. That that's how you know we did not despawn the key. We're going to come in here. We're going to get the second key, which is supposed to be like a hidden maze section thing. They really, really want to do to like... They really, really wanted Knuckles to be like a puzzle thing. But of course we know where it is. We're going to come right up, drop that second key in, wait for the stage to open for a second here. It takes a little bit to open. And once that is done, we will now go into Lost World. So Lost World, there are three pieces of the Master Emerald, but we are not going to search for them, as none of them, no combination that there can possibly be, is faster than clipping through this wall and finishing the stage through Sonic's ending. Which is exactly what we just did. The game thinks we found all three masterpiece, uh, pieces of the Master Emerald. We did not. We only got none and just went into a capsule. But yeah, here we are, final area of the game. We get another flashback from Knuckles going through the, the history of the lore of Tikal, which you guys are going to have to watch the 100% to get to get that lore. I'm not going to give it to you guys here. It'll be too long. A really, really good, compelling story. But yeah, Knuckles basically gets a little hint that, uh, hey, three pieces of the Master Emerald are on the Egg Carrier. So we're going to do our little clip out that we learned earlier to... Uh, get in the minecart, go to that same jungle section we were in, but this time, instead of going to Lost World, we're going to fly across to that new gigantic tower in the background that just appears out of nowhere. Not sure where Eggman had the time to build all that, but, you know, it is what it is. And we go over, trigger the cutscene, we see Gamma there for a second. The Egg Carrier takes off in that cutscene, and now we're in the air, as, of course, with every character, we must watch the ship changing cutscene which is really funny it's actually a really really small ship that always exists and it's like it just made like a really really tiny tiny model of it but made the camera like zoom in really far so that it, it looks realistic pretty pretty uh, clever tactic i'm saving some uh frames there within the, the console's ability so here we come into sky deck we're already here in sky deck in the final stage and um i am opening that for no reason but it's all good, because we have a cannon piece, and we have no lives to reset. So normally you'd want to reset there, but I, of course, have no lives, so I will not be able to do the reset. 
set. And we have a card piece here. The card pieces are indeed tricky, but we get it in absolutely no problem whatsoever. And coming in for the final piece, do one more clip into the gate to get the final piece. That was a tricky set, especially with no lives. But we did it, no problem. Just approaching 10 minutes now. The last missing piece. All right, time to restore the Master Emerald. Okay, so here we go. The final section of the pass. As every character gets one cutscene in the pass, but Knuckles gets three, as since he is an echidna and it is about the echidna tribe, he does get the most backstory. So, coming up to the very end of the run here, the one thing left to do, and that's to run across this ship and go beat Chaos Six, which is Knuckles' final boss in this game. And here he comes, Chaos Six. We're going to use these freezy enemies that Eggman drops us in order to beat him, which we would absolutely not be able to beat him if he didn't give us these, so thank you, Eggman. Appreciate it. Alright, here we go. Second hit. Third hit. And on to the final one. And time ends right when the timer stops. Now. There we go. Oh, we had an 11.16, but I restarted too quickly. There's the run. Anyway, shoutouts to the Sonic community. Shoutouts to GDQ. Anybody watching this submission, I appreciate your time. Um, thanks for hanging in. This is a very a category I have a lot of experience with. I've run many other times, many other places. Just looking to do a nice little fun, comfortable showcase for the Sonic block for uh, GDQ. And this is it. So take care. Hope you have a good rest of your day.